Yo, what's up guys, Shadia, coach of Bayern Munich, and welcome to week 9 of the meme. Uh, season slowly but surely coming to a close, and I'm recording this before week 8. For one, because I played it before week 8, and for two, so that George is happy. Um, <laughs> so, <clears throat> speaking of George, that's my opponent this week, uh, Momiji, though. He's absolutely lovely, and I love him, and you should check out his stuff in the description below. Um, because he's great and stuff. Give him your love. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, uh, George, also a newcomer to the format, who has been performing really, really well uh, for that standard, especially. You know, I said a lot, but it's true, it's true. <clears throat> and he's a great person and stuff. He's coach of Litwick Town, I didn't even mention that. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so we have, we have fucking one of the best teams in the world against the championship team, if we go by football standards. I don't know, I guess Bayern Munich, you know, and then and, and Ipswich. <clears throat> Anyway, <laughs> uh, his team should be on screen about uh, right now. Actually, no, I made another transfer. I dropped, as you can see, I dropped Kyrogonal. You can't see that, but I dropped Kyrogonal, and I picked up this boy, Obi Asimisia, once again, coming back to the team. Um, and that's cool. I initially wanted to make the transfer for week 7, and then make another one, but then I was too late to make another one, so, you know. Unfortunately, we not, won't get into seeing our transfer, and Quilden is going to stay on the team, which I think I'm okay with, ultimately. So, uh, his team should be on screen right now. He has Ladias with Zemus, Sylveon, Mega Scissor, Rotom Heat, Terrakion with Zemus, Swampert, Stiraptor, Sceptile, Morwile, Frillish, and last but not least, Clang, Clang as his meme pick. Uh, he had Slavali, Lipa, and Staravia, and dropped all those week 6 to pick up Stiraptor and Morwile. I uh, don't have to fuck around with Slavali, uh, which is cool, because that's annoying, and also have to deal with Lipod, which is cool. So, um, let's get on team number bring. First up, I do have almost Chihiro the Weevil. Um, I initially had Gardevoir and it's called Chihiro, but then I changed it because I realized my team was way too slow. I initially had Mega Gardevoir here, um, but I just, I needed speed. And while he does have a good amount of checks to Weevil, one obviously being Mega Sizzle, being a hard counter, Sylveon checking it, Swampert checking it, uh, Terrakion to some extent being able to deal with it, Morwell being a hard counter, um, I still need this, I think. Rotom Heat also can check it. I still need the speed. I still need to be able to wrench kill things, uh, keep things in check, and that kind of thing. So, uh, as you can see, Will Rock and Wattle Berry, uh, knock off Natural Gift, no, Low Kick, and Eye Shadows, of course, Natural Gift Fire. That is to bop the Mexico on the switch, and, or if it's already weakened, uh, bop it on a Roost, which you can definitely see, uh, or a U turn, you know, basically um, predict him not bull punching and plop him after some prior chip damage. I don't kill him from full because Megas is a stupidly fat Pokemon. Um, and non life of Weevil eh, is not that strong. Um, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, that's, that's that. I need that. Uh, knockoff is a good spammable move to get rid of all the items. I shot for things like uh, Scepter and Staraptor, and a general priority and low kick um, for the Terrakion. Because that's a massive threat to my team, and if I can outspeed it and kill it, it's all fine and dandy. So, next up, we do have Simon. That is the Simisi with the X belt as, uh, as the ability, you know, as the item. Uh, doesn't have a gender, who cares? Uh, <laughs> Blaze is the ability. Fire Blast, Knock Off, Grass Knot, and Gunk Shot. Uh, with enough speed to outspeed his base 100s, um, which is the Raptor, that one. Uh, and this thing actually kind of shreds his team. Uh, Gunk Shot with this investment should be able to tweet KO, or does tweet KO, Max Defense Sylveon easily. Um, Fire Blast, of course, Mega Scizor. Knockoff does a million to Ladias, unless he's a Z Crystal, of course. Uh, Grass Knot does a million to Swamp, but I need some chip on that, I think. Um, and also, Terrakion doesn't want to take a Grass Knot. So, uh, this thing just does a ton of work to his team. Uh, it can kind of break his core open a little bit uh, and give me a good check to Mega Scizor. That's kind of scary to his team offensively. So, uh, let's see, Monsieur. Uh, maybe it'll get a kill and won't get hacks like I did against them. PPL, I didn't get a kill because of it. <sighs> Next up, as always, we of course have Dragonite, uh, Paragor, with the Celium Z this week, actually. Multi Scale as the ability Dragon Claw, Fire Punch, Iron Head, and Dragon Dance. Um, with a ton of, a ton of HP, uh, speed for some things. I think that's just to speed Sceptile plus one, because uh, that's his fastest mod, because I don't think he has any Scarf I could have speed. No, he doesn't. So, yeah, should be for that. Um, <clears throat> I opted to go with Steel MZ because a, I'm expecting a Wish Protect Sylveon just to deal with this because it does deal with the Z-Move version pretty well. He can protect all my Z-Move, um, not take that much, and then he can just protect all my flies. Uh, essentially, if I bring, you know, a similar set to what I've always been bringing this season. Um, <clears throat> so I can kind of see that. So I went, I opted to go with the Steel MZ so I can kill the Sylveon and just not care. Um, Hindsight probably should have been like a Fire MZ set, well you will see. Uh, Fire Punch for Mega Scizor and uh, Mawile and Clang, I guess. Um, and Dragon Claw for Stab, so basically just it's just a Dragonite, it does its thing. You know, we know it by now. <laughs> um, 
it's the MVP of the league by far, so yeah. <laughs> then we have uh, Noya, Deco Fairies, Leftovers, Mummy, Hex, Willowis, Rest Talk. Pretty straightforward. Uh, this is a defensive answer to things like Mega Scizor and Terrakion, uh, as well as Offensive Swap, and can kind of help with Seraptor to some extent. Um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I guess Clank. You know, that too. Uh, so yeah, basically just get Willowis off, Rest up, and just Hex things, and that's cool. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward stuff, honestly, on the thing. Uh, it's just so I don't lose to Mexico, which Mexico is a massive threat to my team, which may or may not be part of the reason why I paid up a Simis, yeah. <laughs> so, um, then we have Gajito Menagross with the leftovers, clear body, medium match, bull punch, pursuit, and HP fire, max defense, with warrants, but have uh, minus speed nature. Uh, HP fire is to do damage to Mexico, if he's bulky, it doesn't do anything, really. Um, this is basically my answer to Strapta. And it helps a lot with Terrakion too, which is nice, uh, because I can take any hit at plus two, I'm pretty sure... I No, I think Earthquake should kill me, but... Does it? I don't know, probably does. Uh, but yeah, that's that. It also helps a little bit with the Latias, uh, if it's not a Calm Mind set, because Calm Mind can kind of just set up on me. Uh, but I can Pursue Trap it and scare it out. And that's cool. <clears throat> um, also Sylveon. This also has with Sylveon. That's another thing. Uh, I wanted Grass Knot to hit Swampert, but I couldn't fit it on, so that's their pursuit. Yeah, it's cool for Ladias, it's cool for general uh, chip on stuff, and yeah. <laughs> Next one of these, we of course, I say of course, we do have uh, Haley the Blissey with leftovers, natural cure, seismic toss, soft bolt, stealth rocks, toxic, pretty straightforward stuff, fizz death uh, with a little bit of speed to a uh, thing on speed. Swampert? That's probably it. Um, this is basically just uh, a fat thing that gets up rocks and toxic things, you know, as Blissey does. Um, deals with Ladias pretty effectively. Uh, this is, no, it, it deals with Ladias pretty effectively. Um, for the most part. It deals with Sylveon, so I don't have to worry about that. I can toxic it and size, size, toss it down. Um, and just softball up if he does too much damage for my liking. Road of Heat can't really touch me, of course. I'm expecting a trick rain, just, you know, because I have a Blissey if he brings it. Um, but other than that, Blissey is nice. I can also, if everything goes to hell, I can throw it into a strap, the Brave Bird, and it's going to take way too much recoil for it to be happy, and then I can be happy. Um, it also should be able to deal with most Sceptile variants. Uh, SD can be a little scary, but Sceptile isn't a problem. Like, I have Ice Shard. <laughs> it's basically all I need at this point. Um, and other things. And Metagross deals with it. Kovac deals with SD. So yeah, it's not a problem, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pause and then we can get right into the game. Okay, here with the game, and as you can see, George decided to bring Clang, Mega Scizor, Terrakion, Sylveon, Rotom Heat, and Swampert. So there's a Clang on my screen. Um, and, you know, if I lose to anything, it might as well be a Clang, because that would be funny. Um, so he didn't bring Latias, which makes sense against my team. He didn't bring the Staraptor, which I can definitely see as well. And then he didn't bring his, uh, his three low tier things that aren't Clang, so. Nothing surprising there, really boring to see a Clang, I definitely expected more while over that, uh, just because it, like, hard counters Weavile, um, and it deals pretty well with most Dragonite sets, but, uh, we'll see what Clang does, um, and let's just get into the game. So, I'm gonna go with my Blitzy, I just wanna get my rocks here, uh, Seeds with Red Rotom Heat, which I kinda expected. If he tricks me turn 1, that's fine, uh, I just wanna get my rocks. So, um... Yeah, he goes on Swamp it as I get up my rocks, and I'm gonna click Toxic on the thing. I don't think he's gonna be bad at if he is, then oh well. Um, if he goes for like the fucking Focus Punch, then oh well. <laughs> but no, he just gets his rocks as I Toxic to Swamp it, which is perfectly fine by me. Uh, and I'm just gonna start S tossing this, this thing, uh, see what he wants to do. I don't really have a good switch in per se. Uh, and then he pulls out Power Punch, and that's a little sad. Um, because now I'm gonna take a ton of damage from Earthquake. Assuming that he is defensive, which it seems to be um, from the Estos damage, kind of. Like, he's definitely max HP, um, I think. Yeah. Um, I can tell. Or oh, pretty much close to max HP. I don't understand that he isn't max attack, so I can take an Earthquake still. Uh, and after another Estos, he should be in range to die. So, uh, he's gonna go for Ice, but I expect Medina to come in and get a freeze. Which is really unfortunate, because now I'm gonna have to switch out and get natural Q instead of just killing this. Or beating this, I guess. Um, I could have softballed up there and then S toss on the flowing turn, but you know. Uh, I'm gonna have to go into my Kofak here, and that plus one earthquake is gonna bounce off because Kofak doesn't care about anything you love. Um, <laughs> and he's gonna take toxic damage, and I'm just gonna rest up here. 
He's obviously gonna let's beat me, uh, which is perfect because I'm gonna get back to full and he's gonna die to toxic. So Bussy picks up a kill here uh, on the Swampert, and that's one thing that can deal or can kind of deal with um, all of my team actually. Uh, is gone. So he goes into Rakion, I'm like, okay, this is fine. I'm just gonna sleep down and get a Willow off. He's actually a Taunter, which is really, really nice bring on his end. Uh, did not expect that. He got me good there, um, and I'm gonna have to go to my Metagross here. So, uh, since I am for Zef and he didn't bring the uh, Strata, I think I'm fine. And so he's going to SD. So, at this point, I don't know what set he is, I don't know what item he is. And Z moves are a thing, and they are broken. I'm expecting him to be a Z move at this point because he just SDs. Um, I guess he could be, if anything, he would be Continental Crush. But, you know, in case he is. Um, is Continental Crush a Z? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, he is, in case he is Tectonic Rage or he is uh, all a pummeling. I'm gonna have to go for the bolt punch and get damage off on the thing, which is really upsetting because otherwise, uh, as you will see, he's not actually a Z move set. Uh, he's gonna go for the close combat, which I'm gonna eat up. Uh, but bolt punch doesn't do anything because I am defensive, uh, and close combat doesn't kill me. So uh, I could just go for me match and knock this thing out, or almost knocked it out. And I, I'm pretty sure I would have. Yeah, after defense up, definitely would have. So unfortunate, but now I'm gonna make the hard read and go for the HP fire here as he goes to still get some chip on this boy, uh, clean 50%. Uh, and that has me as a very, very bulky scissor, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but now I'm going to see here because there's no way he isn't roosting. He wants to keep the thing healthy, uh, otherwise it just doesn't switch into things and it doesn't do much. He just U-turns though, I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, but it works because he brings in Sylveon and I th feel like he might uh, he might wish here. Maybe he doesn't know what it's Simisei against Gangshot, I would assume he does. But regardless, um, he goes to just be a Call mine Babiri Berry set that could be a little spooky at this point. So, um, actually, no, Blissey's still there, so yes. So, I'm just gonna go for Gunshot. Hope that I maybe get the roll. Uh, I don't. He was on 3%. I don't think it was a roll actually, and he just kills people with a hyper voice. Uh, unfortunate. We would love to get to me see a kill, but still, I decided to be a bitch. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go my Metagross. Click Bullet Punch. I have no reason to click Pursuit or anything. He's not gonna switch out. And Sylvia goes down despite the Babiri Berry. <laughs> So, I uh, get some leftovers back, he's going to go into his Rodium Heat, uh, and I think I'm just going to sag off my uh, Mana Gloss, and that is a Specs Rodium Heat, it's fucking Jesus Christ, um, and he's going to go into whatever that is, Clang. So Clang is in, the threat is inside, and I'm going to go into my Dragonite, uh, because after like, doing some calcs, he's not going to do much to me, uh, and I can DD up and then Fire Punch him. Uh, he reveals that he is, you know, a normal set and has Shift Gear, going to go for the Fire Punch, it does 60%, um, but now he's going to be at plus 4 speed with shift gear, and he's going to be able to speed me at plus 2 attack. He is actually going to be able to knock me out because he does have attack investment. I think I calced without attack investment, um, which is why I was like, okay, I can probably live this. Um, but yeah, he does have attack investment. I'm pretty sure it was max attack even. So what I have to do now is go into Kofag and hope that sleep talk gods love me for once. They usually don't, but you know, uh, we'll see how, how that works. Um... And he's gonna get two relatively low rolls as I'm gonna sleep talk and I get the rest. So that's nice. Uh, and I think if he got two high rolls on the first one, uh, he would be able to kill me, but he doesn't kill me. He gets the exact. I get basically the exact rolls I need in, in exchange for me not getting a willow on the sleep talk or at least a um, hex. I don't know if that would help me. I don't know if that would kill with eye shot, but I think it might. Anyway, so, um,. I'm gonna go for a sleep talk and I get the Willow Sphere, so that's pretty much Clank's fate steal. So I got a little lucky, but I might have I could have also just gotten the Sleep Talk Willow on the first one and then this wouldn't have mattered. So it's, I don't know. I think it's it's just Pokemon. I don't think there's any bad luck in any favor. I think it's just Pokemon, I guess. I don't know. But he's gonna go for Gigrant as he's burned, it's gonna do nothing. Uh, I got an arrest there, which is nice, so I take damage for no region. Uh, and I'm gonna go for the hex here, I get this I, yeah, I don't even get sleep talk. I just click that. I'm smart. So yeah, that goes down. He's gonna go into Netsurida. This is Rodom Heat, and I'm gonna go into my Blissey. I feel like he's gonna trick, but that's fine because at this point, I'm gonna be um, able to just S toss whatever comes in. Uh, Mixer should or will die from this range. I, he doesn't speed me though, so he can sack something. Um, then go into Mega Scizor and Roost up and potentially try to win with Mega Scizor, which is which I think would be his play. However, he does um, opt to go into his Mega Scizor and get S tossed and now he's gonna go into Terrakion and I'm just gonna, my, my play 100% here is staying in and clicking S toss um, because depending on how things go maybe he is a Z move, maybe he's gonna a little crush and kills my Kofag or something um, I need damage off the thing so it's guaranteed an ice shot range in case he's double dance with Z stone edge so um, 
yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say and go go for the S toss, um, and the the thirty percent, and that's definitely an eye shot range. So I'm gonna sack off my Kofak here, knowing that it's not the most important thing, because uh, if Weaver somehow doesn't kill Rotom Heat, uh, Blissey can still you know take any hit and just S toss it to death. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go to Weaver and just click locate the thing is gonna die. He actually turns out to be Choppleberry, which would have been really problematic early on in the game if I uh, played this a little bit differently, or he did, I don't know. We both played a little differently, then things could have been a little scary, but... Uh, Man uh, Manaphy? No, that's a Weaver. It's not even close to a Manaphy. Um, we were just going to clean up the game there with uh, the knockoff and low kick combination, and that is a GG to George. Um, yeah, he's been performing pretty well. I think it was a good game. Clang almost fucking dicked me in the asshole, so that would have been really unfortunate. Which I guess explain uh, him relying on Clang sweep kind of explains why he U-turned, so he can weaken my CMC because otherwise I could probably take a hit, um, especially if I have some bulk investment, which I did he didn't know. So uh, if that was his play, uh, his reason that I definitely understand it. Otherwise, I I don't actually know why he did that. Um, I'm probably just overlooking something that's entirely possible. But yeah, um, that's a GG George. Of course, it was a great game. Um, did we play this call? I think no, we didn't. Did we? I don't remember. No, we didn't. I think. No. <laughs> but yeah, um, I should check out George as always. He's absolutely the loveliest of people ever in the history of anything, uh, and you will not regret watching his stuff and just following him on Twitter and all the things. So, um, also, if you follow both of us on Twitter, you won't miss out me thirsting. So, that's, that's always fun. <laughs> so, um, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Um, Tell me the thing of the team and the matchup and the game and the stuff and the things, all everything that you want to say. We'll leave it down in the comments. And with that being said, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, leave some nudes. I will appreciate all three of those and hopefully see you guys next time. Goodbye.